Red Sox and Dodgers meeting for the first time since the mega trade last season that sent Carl Crawford, Adrian Gonzalez, Josh Beckett, along with Nick Puto to Hollywood. Bottom of the first inning, it's John Lackey on the mound, and he's off to a good start with one out. Strikes out Yaziel Puig, and then his former teammate, Gonzalez, down swinging as well. Fourth inning, Dodgers looking for their first hit, and Crawford delivers. Into right field off Lackey. He later steals second, one of two stolen bases on the night. So then it's Hanley Ramirez. He was a former Red Sox prospect trying to capitalize with two outs. And a drive into dead center. Back goes Ellsbury to the wall. Gone. Two run home run for Hanley Ramirez. And the Dodgers lead two to nothing. Hanley's 13th on the season. Later in the inning, it's Andre Ethier up. Browns one to shortstop. Steven Drew, he's got it. A good throw across, just in time to get Ethier. Good throw from Drew across his body. You look at the replay, it's very close, but the inning's over. Ricky Nolasco, solid for the Dodgers. He's got two on, though, top of the fifth inning after hitting a batter, allowing just his second hit of the game, but this helps. Will Middlebrooks to third. Juan Uribe starts the 5-4-3 double play to end the inning. And then it was all Nolasco. Strikes out John Lackey in the sixth. Jared Saltalamaki to end the seventh. And then it's Middlebrooks lining out to shortstop to end the eighth and ending Nolasco's night. Just two hits over 80, struck out six. In the ninth, Kenley Jansen pitching. Shane Victorino, the Red Sox last hope. Popped up. Well, that ought to do it. It will be Hanley. And the Dodgers shut out the Red Sox. They are now 10 and a half games ahead of Arizona. Seems like only yesterday they were nine and a half games back. So that's a 20 game swing. That 10 and a half game lead along with moving to 24 games over 500 are both season highs for the Dodgers who are 19 and three in August. They've won four straight. The Red Sox, meanwhile, fall percentage points behind the Tampa Bay Rays, who won earlier in the night. The game only lasted two hours and seven minutes.